With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, I am your teacher for this question and the question is Urea NH2 CO NH2 is manufactured by passing CO2 through ammonia solution followed by crystallization and CO2 for the above reactions prepared by the combustion of hydrocarbons. If combustion of 236 kg of a saturated hydrocarbon CNH2 and plus 2 produces as much carbon dioxide as required for the production of 999.6 kg urea then molecular formula of hydrocarbon is. So in this question it is given that urea is prepared by treating carbon dioxide through ammonia solution and carbon dioxide for this reaction is prepared by the combustion of hydrocarbons and it is given that if combustion of 236 kg of saturated hydrocarbon produces as much carbon dioxide for the production of this amount of urea then we have to find the molecular formula of the hydrocarbon. So first we will write the reaction for the combustion of the saturated hydrocarbon CnH2n plus 2 CnH2n plus 2 plus oxygen it will produce carbon dioxide and water. Now there are n number of carbon atoms so n number of CO2 will be released and the oxygen atoms are in the hydrogen atoms are 2n plus 2 so here it is 2 so we will write n plus 1 here and the oxygen atoms will be correspondingly 3n plus 1 by 2. Now this is balanced chemical equation and we can say one mole of hydrocarbon produces n mole of carbon dioxide. One mole of hydrocarbon CnH2n plus 2 produces n moles of carbon dioxide and one mole of hydrocarbon will be equal to its molecular weight. So we will write 12 into n as the atomic weight of carbon is 12 plus 2 in 2n plus 2 into 1. The atomic weight of hydrogen is 1. This gram will produce n moles of carbon dioxide. This will be equals to 14n plus 2 grams. Now it is given that 236 kilogram of this saturated hydrocarbon produces the now for 1 gram of this hydrocarbon it will produce n upon 14 n plus 2 moles of carbon dioxide and 236 kilogram will produce n upon 14 n plus 2 into 236 kilograms into 236 moles of carbon dioxide. Now this is in grams and this is in kilograms so we can multiply this amount by 10 raised to power 3. So this is in grams and this is also in grams. It means it will give to the n upon 14 plus 2 into 236 moles of carbon dioxide. Now it is given that the carbon dioxide then reacts with the ammonia solution to produce urea. So for the reaction will be NH3 plus CO2 it forms urea that is NH2 CO NH2 plus water. Now here are two nitrogen atoms so we will write two here to balance the equation. Now from this balanced equation we can see that one mole of carbon dioxide produces one mole of urea. One mole of CO2 produces one mole of urea. Now it is said in the question that 236 kilogram produces this much of carbon dioxide. So it means n upon 14 n plus 2 into 236 moles will produce these many moles of urea n upon 14 n plus 2 into 236 moles. And this is equal to and it is said in the question that it produces as much carbon dioxide as required for the production of this amount of urea. So we can equate this to 
so on multiplying this by its molecular weight it will give the weight of carbon dioxide uh, weight of urea produced that is and molecular weight of urea is molecular weight of urea is 60 g per mole these are the number of moles into 60 g per mole this will gives the weight of the urea produced and in the question it is given that it produces as much of carbon dioxide as 996 point kg of urea so this will be equal to 996 point now on solving this that is 236 n upon is equal to 999.6 upon 60 into 14 n plus 2 it will give us 16.66 into 14 n plus 2 this will give us 233.24 n plus 33.32 and now this will be equal to 236 n so now we can solve it for n as 236 n minus 233.24 n is equal to 33.32 this will give us 2.76 n is equal to 33.32 then n is equal to 33.32 divided by 2.76 which gives 12.072 it means n is approximately 12 now we have to find the molecular formula of the saturated hydrocarbon cn hn h2n plus 2 so on putting the value of n in cn hn h2n plus 2 that is c12 h2 into this will give us c12 H two into twelve into two twenty four plus two twenty six. So the molecular formula of the saturated hydrocarbon is C twelve H twenty six. So I hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.